What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here back with a brand new video. Just a quick one today, I wanted to show you guys how to record gameplay with an AMD graphics card. So if you're looking for that NVIDIA Shadow Play equivalent, it's here. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go to the AMD website and make sure you have the Crimson drivers. I believe it is 16.12.1. Uh, so you need that or later. So if you don't have that yet, make sure you go to the website and go get it. But once you actually have that option, you'll want to go into your AMD settings by clicking on your desktop and selecting the AMD Radeon setting option. And once you have done that, there is a tab called Relive right in the middle that you want to go ahead and click on and that will give you the option to enable or disable gameplay recording so what we're going to do here is of course turn it on by clicking the button there and from there you are given a bunch of more options so let's go ahead and go through them here the first one is the record desktop option typically you won't need this but if for whatever reason you're using an api that's not supported uh, like Vulkan and you want to capture gameplay footage, enabling this should allow you to do that. Aside from that, you have your save folder where you can save your gameplay footage, and then you have your video capture device, which would be like your webcam or something like that, and then your audio capture device, which is going to be your microphone. You won't need those for recording, but that is uh, just something to make note of if you are streaming using this uh, software. But the one thing that you want to make a note of is down at the bottom where you can see your hotkeys. So the uh, toggle toolbar hotkey, just by pressing Alt-Z, what that will bring up is a small toolbar in-game that will give you several options to choose from, like uh, starting your recording or saving an instant replay uh, or streaming, stuff like that. So just make a note of that. Uh, in this case, if you are recording, all you need to do is press Control shift plus r once you are in game that will start the recording pressing it again will end the recording now for people that want to customize their recording options you do have that ability as well amd has set up uh, preset profiles for you which you can select just to make it easy uh, under the recording profile you can see there are low medium high and custom so if we select low for example what it's going to do is set your recording resolution to 720p and your recording bitrate to 5 megabits per second at 60 fps. And if you want something better than that, medium profile is going to record at your in game resolution and then bump the recording bitrate up to 10 megabits per second. If you select the high option, which is probably what I'd recommend for most of you, it'll again record at your in game resolution, but it will bump up your recording bitrate to 30 megabits per second. I believe YouTube recommends 24 megabits per second if you are recording uh, 1440p footage. So you can kind of play with that however you see fit, but I think uh, for 1440p and below, 30 megabits per second should be just fine. So let's say for example, we wanted to uh, just set something uh, custom here. What I can do is change my recording bit rate. Uh, that goes all the way up to 50 megabits per second. Um, if you're not familiar with the bit rate, basically what this does is change the uh, data rate per bit. Uh, basically, the higher the bit rate, the better the quality, but also the bigger the size. We can also change the audio bit rate and bump it all the way up to 320 kilobits per second. And then you have the option of uh, choosing your encoding type. AVC is for the H.264 encoder. This is uh, going to be the most common one that you will see just around the uh, interwebs. HEVC is the uh, H.265 encoder. It's basically more efficient than AVC and it offers a higher quality per bit or bit rate. You can select that option if you want. Uh, if you plan to edit these videos, you may want to make sure your editing software supports the H.265 uh, encoder. If it does not, or if you're not sure, just go ahead and leave that as AVC as that'll be the safest choice. And then the last option that we have here is instant replay. So if you turn that on, what that will do is just allow you to save uh, a length of gameplay, whatever you set here. So let's say for example, I have set this to 10 minutes. Well, when I choose the instant replay option from my toolbar, what this will do is save the last 10 minutes of gameplay. So let's say if you weren't recording for whatever reason and something cool happened, 
and you're like, man, I wish I could have captured that. All you have to do is enable the uh, instant replay option and it will automatically save the last 10 minutes of gameplay footage. Those are gonna be the main options that you will play with uh, in terms of recording gameplay with the AMD graphics card. You can stream here, so there are streaming options as well as overlay options. We won't get into that here because I don't know anyone that doesn't really use OBS in terms of streaming, but uh, the option is there. Now in terms of performance, AMD is quoting like a three to 4% performance hit. So it's pretty much gonna be negligible when you are recording. It's not something that you're gonna notice yourself. I'm gonna show you guys some of the footage that I did capture using the relive option here. One thing I don't like is it shows the overlay for relive in the actual recording. I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, one of the good things about capturing the overlay is it also captures MSI Afterburner, which I use to show the uh, performance of a game to you guys. So at least I can do that now with this software, which not everything out there can actually pick up on that. So it's kind of good and bad. But as you can see, the uh, footage looks pretty good. Uh, I don't notice any uh, crap quality or uh, any stuttering or anything like that. It's pretty smooth and it really should get the job done for most people. Now if you are recording gameplay there are some limitations that you need to be aware of um, which AMD has is showing on their website here. So I'm using an RX 470 so I have the option of recording uh, 1080p at uh, 60 FPS, 1440p at 60 FPS, and uh, 30 FPS at 2160p so yeah that's pretty much it as far as capturing gameplay footage with your amd graphics card um, you guys let me know if you have any questions down below uh, like this video if you learned something today don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna get out of here guys merry christmas until next time see ya